Okay, so today's video is about an issue I've been having with the DJI FPV drone. Now, about two weeks ago, I went flying and I flew about two batteries, relocated to a second location. At the second location, the goggles, there was some kind of update and I pressed it by accident. Now, I usually don't do any updates in the field because some of them take too long and I don't want to get caught up, especially in the winter. So I usually bypass them and just do it at home. But unfortunately, I pressed something and it did the update. Now, from what I know, you can't do screen captures on DJI FPV uh, goggles. So if you know there's a way to do it or they did something recently, please let me know in the comments. But from what I know, you can't do screen captures. So I did put my phone in the goggles because I try to keep track of all this stuff and I, I captured an image of the update. Um, it did say it was complete, so I thought I was all good. But after that happened, I was unable to arm the drone. I was able to control the gimbal and access the files and do everything else, but I couldn't get these props to spin at all. I did everything that you know you do to get the drone going, but it wouldn't go. So later on that day, I started reading uh, articles and forums and kind of looked for somebody that had the same issue but I couldn't find it. I spoke to various pilots that own this drone. Um, Eddie did mention connecting it into the computer with the DJI assistant and um, I did that. I checked. Everything was up to date uh, as far as the software. So what I ended up doing is refreshing everything. I refreshed the goggles. I tried to arm the drone. Wouldn't arm. Didn't get the props going. I did the RC controller, couldn't get the drone going. I did the actual drone, and then all of a sudden, I was able to get the props going. I was able to arm the drone. So I was thinking maybe that update, even though it said complete, something went wacky or something. So that was that. <laughs> now, I went to go fly a second time. This is after that situation. Got about two batteries in. Um, I'm gonna go through my process the second time around and then we'll get back to where we at right now okay so I have everything here now I did the drone first I refreshed the update and it didn't work so then I did the controller and I tried it and it didn't work but I want to show you guys something as you can see with the drone is red red the front and back are red now if I turn the controller off, those lights, see, boom, it went green. Now this is the way it's supposed to look that it's actually going to work. It's going to connect it the proper way and it'll, it'll arm, but it's not arming. As you can see, the, the goggles are right here. Um, they're on, everything's on properly. Right now, this should be ready to fly, but once I turn on the remote, watch once it gives that notification boom and red and as you can see I'm gonna move this a little away it will not arm it's on normal mode it's not arming if I put it on this and I do the double click thing for manual it's not it just doesn't work I tried everything I you know like I said I read all the forums nobody else had this issue but some people had issues just getting this you know armed but they didn't have this exact issue. So I know all the ways to arm this drone. Obviously, I had it for a long time. Now, the last time I fixed this problem, I did the reverse. I did uh, the refresh update on the goggles first. Then I tried it. It didn't work. Then I did the controller. The process of elimination, right? Once I did the controller, I tried it. Didn't work. Once I did the drone... It worked so this time around I did the drone first tried it, it didn't work I just did the controller obviously it didn't work so now I'm gonna do the goggles all right so I am back the goggles were updated now mind you everything was up to date I just refresh just to fix the issue whatever the issue is now the goggles was the last thing I updated 
and I still see red and the last time I didn't have that problem so I'm gonna as you can see here nothing I did I updated everything oh what was that I saw some green let me check the goggles Got fourteen satellites. Still not good. Still not green. Now what I'm gonna do is let me shut everything off. Turn off the goggles. Turn off the remote. And turn off the drone. Alright, everything's off. Now when I usually fly, I turn on the goggles first. I don't know if this even matters, but I'm going to do it. Then I do the controller. Now when you don't have the goggles, I usually just turn on the controller like in a, a regular GPS drone. And then I always turn on the controller first and then the drone. So now I got the goggles. The controller's ready. Now I'm going to turn on the drone and see if we're good. Got green and red. Let's see if it goes red. It's not connected yet. We're going to hear like a beep of the goggles. That looks green. It looks like we're ready to go. Oh, now it's connected. And it went red. Oh. Wow. This thing went red. Let me get everything away. And nothing. It won't it won't arm. Alright, so I want to show you guys something. As you can see, it will not arm. I also did the RC calibration. All right, done. Calibration successful. The controller is basically connected to the drone, but it's not arming. Now, I do have all the functionality. You can see the gimbals going up. Going down. So I can see through the goggles, I can see what the, the drone is seeing and everything. It's just the only function that's not working is the arming. All right, so as you saw, I was unable to resolve the issue the second time around. Now, the very next day, I did the drone and the RC controller again, and I was able to resolve the issue. Now that brings us to where we are today. I charged up a few batteries, got everything ready to go. I'm gonna fly the drone and see if it happens again. Okay, so this is my third battery. I flew two batteries already. No issues with arming the drone. You know, drone connecting, flying around, everything was working properly. Now, I have to make a decision. It's working properly now. 
how long we'll be working in this fashion. And my care refresh ends in a couple of weeks. So do I get stuck with an issue later after the care refresh is over? Or do I just send it? But if I send it and it's working properly, will they be able to trace the problem? That's my concern as well. But for now, I'm gonna end the video. Like I said before, if you have this issue or you know somebody that has this issue, leave a comment. Let me know how you uh, resolved it or that person resolved it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out of here for now. Peace.